<laughs> All right, and in the main event, we have The Shield going up against Evolution. This one is a no hold bars elimination match. Basically, it's going to be these six guys going in there, and every time there's a pinfall, basically, this is an old-school Survivor Series match where basically one guy is going to have to go to the back after he's been eliminated, uh, making the other team have a uh, big-time advantage in this match. Basically, I don't know. I think that the Shield and Evolution had one hell of a match to Extreme Rules. That's going to be one hell of a match to try and live up to and do it. If anybody's out there, it's these six guys. Basically, you have three veterans who know what has to be do to control the crowd, and then you have three young I don't want to call them rookies because they've been in the WWE for a good long little time. But basically, you got three guys that will do anything to try and get every fan in there to notice them and sort of push them up the card even more. There's there's nobody that I can think of that has came in as a team or as a duo making their debuts in the WWE that have ever made an impact like the Shield. We've seen these guys sort of be, you know, CM Punk's lackeys and I don't even really remember how that whole thing you know, played out. I remember, you know, them having to say that they weren't involved or, you know, taking any handouts from Heyman or Punk. And then I think it was uh, Brad Maddox that sort of let that leak uh, that they were all they really were on the same team. And then they sort of got told that they weren't allowed to be a team anymore. And then just, I don't know, they just kept on just having matches. And they always really came up and they always really delivered. And uh, here they are, uh, you know, over a year later, standing in their first, you know, main event of a pay-per-view. And this is going to be a good match. From here, I don't know where they go from. I know that the Shield has really been elevated to a place they've never really been before. And I've been really talking about it for a long time, you know, since the rumors were out before WrestleMania, basically... The Shield is going to break up sooner than later. And I think this is the point where the Shield is at their peak, to the, where there is nowhere else to go from here. When you were watching the contract signing, I know that a lot of people saw the war that broke out after that with basically the big, you know, triple team Batista bomb with Roman Reigns going through the table, um, Seth Rollins taking the RKO from Randy Orton. Uh, the one thing that I really focus on is when you know, but, um, Triple H handed over the contract and said, you know, make sure that when you sign this, you really mean it because this is going to be a fight and this is going down. Basically, Evolution just really felt embarrassed. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins grabbed the contract and signed it as fast as they could. Uh, when Dean Ambrose got the pen, he fumbled with it. And I don't know if that was him fumbling with it because he didn't believe in what the Shield was going to be able to do if they were going to do it or if he just had second thoughts or maybe he just dropped the pen and maybe I'm just seeing too much into it. But um, this is going to be a war. Um, evolution, you know, these guys have been champions over and over and over uh, with all of them having big WrestleMania moments. And, uh, you know, they're not going to let these young punks embarrass them. I, I don't know if basically it's going to end up in some sort of a situation where Seth Rollins, uh, or not Seth Rollins, I apologize, Dean Ambrose gets eliminated early in this match. Seth Rollins puts up a good fight and he gets eliminated also. Then we end up with a three-on-one situation. Maybe Ambrose comes back down to sort of shock the world by screwing Roman Reigns, um, something that we've seen him try to do in the past. Uh, around Elimination Chamber and Royal Rumble time. We saw you know, him try and eliminate Roman, uh, which ended up having Roman have a flip-out moment where he just eliminated everybody out of the ring because his own you know, flesh and blood, his brother in black, the Shield, uh, tried to eliminate him, tried to take him out because he wanted to be the leader of the Shield. Everybody can remember the, uh, um, the promo with the Shield where... You know, they were getting picked apart because, uh, you know, CM Punk was, was saying, are you the leader? Are you the leader? And everybody was stepping up and saying, I'm the man. Nobody wanted to say that, you know, they were a physical group. No one piece is better than the other. You know, you put them out there and the results are always going to be the same. Um, 
I bet I really do see Evolution picking up the win in here. I don't think that Dean Ambrose is going to join Evolution. I think it's going to be more of a, a shocking situation on where we go from here. I know people are maybe might be overreacting to the WWE, you know, uh, magazine that just got published and just got put on newsstands most places today in the uh, question and answer section where you can write in and answer and ask, you know, wrestlers questions and they're published. Uh, Dean Ambrose did call uh, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins his former partners. Uh, you would think that uh, WWE Magazine, even though that it isn't the most, you know, kayfabe publications, especially with the Q and A session with the wrestlers, um, really wouldn't put that in there and would have enough sense to either edit that part out or just not, you know, use that question and answer. Um, for that part. Uh, I'm not sure if maybe they're playing on us, trying to think that, you know, we're thinking that the breakup with the Shield is happening. I'm only thinking that there's only three men, uh, so many three-men group in there. We've seen the Shield battle the Wyatts over and over again. We've seen the Shield battle Evolution twice. We've seen the Shield battle three-man band uh, when they first came in, and they're not really on the same plane anymore. So I'm, I'm not really thinking that we're going to see them go up against another three-man group. There's no three dudes hanging around that really have a problem with the shield right now that I can think of. So there's nothing really else for them to accomplish as a team. Um, and if Roman Reigns was to go off and start his own singles run now, I know a lot of people have him facing maybe Triple H come, you know, SummerSlam. I haven't heard that rumor in a little bit, but it is one that's been used in the past. What do you do with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose? I mean, they're not just going to be guys standing in this corner just saying, Come on, Roman, let's get it done. He's going to need to step up, and they're going to have to find their own place. Um, Dean Ambrose is a guy that I think a lot of people think is going to be a future WWE champion. Seth Rollins is the guy that I really think is going to be there too, but I think he's got a lot of question marks on him. So many guys have come in with this sort of his physique and sort of you know uh, questionable story line or questionable character, I guess you can say. We don't know really what these guys are going to be on their own. Uh, I know we've all you know seen them in NXT footage, but we don't really know if they've evolved away from that or if they're just going to throw these guys in trunks again and say, you know, go out there and start fresh and try to get over. Um, it's going to be weird. It's going to be different. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to bag on it right out of the gate. But teams can't stay teams forever. Tag teams only last so long. Factions normally last shorter than that. I don't know if it's the tag team or a faction, but I would I would put them in the faction category. Evolution versus the Shield is going to be a great match. No holds barred means they're going to be able to hit each other with everything. Uh, the Shield is, is trying to fight back because they've been put in situations where they've been outnumbered, whether if it was Dean Ambrose losing his uh, United States title in the 20-man battle royal, or if it was the... Uh, Tag match that they got put in the three on three against the Wyatts would end up being a six on one affair with Evolution coming down to whoop their ass. But uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a good day for the Shield. I think it'd be a great way to end uh, with the big question mark. Everybody going into Raw to see what is going to go on with the Shield. But uh, you know, this is their first main event. Uh, they did get the big win at WrestleMania, and I said that would have been a great moment for them to go on from and leave as a bookend as a, a way to say, wow, look what they did. Two wins at WrestleMania as a team. Who knows? Maybe one day these guys will all be baby faces and we can see some sort of a reunion where they have three guys uh, that they fight on Raw and maybe some main events or maybe you put them in some sort of Survivor Series somewhere down the road. It's some sort of a thumbs up, you know, wink, wink to the fans about a, a, a Shield reunion for one night. But uh, I don't know. It's time. Let's see what these guys can do on their own. We've seen them as a team for so long. It might be time for the Shield really to break it up and just get it over with. The Hounds of Justice, one more time, going up against Evolution, the King of Kings, the Viper, and the Animal, which might be Dave Batista's farewell song for a good little run in WWE. Um, it was the first part, I think, he got a WrestleMania main event. He got a Royal Rumble win, but I would still kind of call it a... He just came at the wrong time. It wasn't what the people wanted to see. But this might be his last match for a good little while. He goes out and promotes his little Marvel Comics money, uh, movie because the WWE money isn't as good as the Hollywood money. So we'll see how a big star he can be. Hopefully he has a big return and he comes back. 
even if he wants to. A lot of stuff going on out there about Batista. We'll have to see. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. Enjoy your show, WWE Network. We'll be back with, with more videos and more highlights and reviews. Peace out.